Dear viewers, first of all, welcome to my all-in-one channel. Tell me, what is the weight of 1 foot or 1 meter iron rod? Can't you tell without measuring? Okay, today we will discuss about it. Watch the video up to the end and try to understand. However, if you don't understand, ask questions in the comment section. Your comment will be highlighted in the question and answer section of the weekly comment session. It is very important to know this calculation because suppose you are going to build a house or make some concrete posts. So now you are thinking how many rod do I need? If you know this calculation then it will help you in this case. You need not ask anybody. You can then buy the required iron rod. So let's start the video. First, let's get to know what the rod is. I have given a diagram of an iron rod. In this diagram, you can see a circular section. When you cut a rod, then a circular portion you will get at the end of the rod like this. And this red line segment indicates the diameter of the circle. And this portion is called the length of the iron rod. All rods are named differently based on this diameter. Important note, I have a request to ask many knowledgeable topics including GK that is general knowledge given in this channel. Help your brothers, sisters, children and relatives to gain knowledge by showing them. You can also watch this video in Bengali. Share the video now so that everyone can learn about it. Subscribe to the channel for new videos. If you watching this video in Facebook and daily motion, then follow the Facebook page and the channel. And if you have already subscribed or followed, then many many thanks. Now let us know what are the names of these rods. A iron rod with a diameter of 6 mm is called a 6 mm rod. Similarly, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm, 18 mm, 21 mm, 26 mm, etc. rods are available in the market. Now, we will calculate the weight of iron rod. If the length of the rod is given in feet, then the formula is diameter square into length divided by 532.28. That is, we can write d square into l divided by 532.28. Again, if the length of the rod is given in meters, the formula is diameter square into length divided by 162.28. That is, d square into L divided by 162.28. Here, d is the diameter and L is the length. Now, you are thinking that where from 532.28 and 162.28 came then keep watching the video till the end, then you will understand everything. For your help, I have given a question. The question is, what will be the weight of 12 mm rod having 2 meters of length? Answer is, we know that weight of the rod is equal to diameter square into length divided by 162.28. That is, d square into L divided by 162.28 is equal to 12 square into 2 divided by 162.28. Here the value of D is 12 and the value of L is 2. The value of D and L are given in the question. If we multiply 12 square and 2, we will get 288 then divided by 162.28. If we divide 288 by 162.28, we will get 1.77. Therefore, the weight of 12 mm rod of 2 meters length will be 1.77 kg. Question number 2. What will be the weight of 12 mm rod of 2 feet length? Answer is, we know the formula diameter square into length divided by 532.28. That is, d square into L divided by 532.28. Putting the value of d and L, we get 12 square into 2 divided by 532.28. Now, if we multiply 12 square and 2, we will get 288 divided by 532.28. Dividing 288 by 532.28, we will get 
0.84. Therefore, the weight of 12 mm rod of 2 feet length will be 0.84 kg. That is a little more than half kg. Another thing is that the calculation of wood, brick, etc., and the links of various knowledgeable videos are given in the description box. You can see from there. I have a link to another channel in the description box below. If you go there and subscribe, you will be able to know and understand a lot about Islam with a scientific reason. Now let's discuss about 162.8 and 532.8. We know that weight of iron rod is equal to density into area into length. Again we know the density of iron is 7850 kg per meter cube and the area of iron is pi d square divided by 4. The value of pi is 3.14 into d square divided by 4. If we divide 3.14 by 4 then we will get 0 0.785 into d square. If the length of the iron rod is equal to 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm then the weight of the iron rod is equal to 7850 divided by 1000 cube here 1000 cube came from the meter cube into 0.785 d square this is the area of the iron rod and this is the density of the iron rod and finally 1000 it came from the length of the iron rod okay this is equal to 7850 into 0 0.785 d square into 1 divided by 1 double zero double zero double zero if we multiply 7850 and 0 0.78 we will get 6162.25 then d square divided by 1 double zero double zero double zero is equal to if we divide 6162.25 by 1 double zero double zero double zero then we will get 0 0.00616225 into d square okay this is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.00616225 to the power minus 1 we can write this into d square if we divide 1 by this number, then we will get 162.278 to the power minus 1 into d square. 162.278 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 divided by 162.8. We can write this from this. Okay. From this expression, we can write d square divided by 162.28. Then, weight of one meter rod is equal to d square divided by 162.8. Okay, then the weight of two meter rod is equal to d square divided by 162.28 into two. On the other hand, since one meter is equal to 3.28 feet, then 162.28 into 3.28 is equal to 532.28. I hope you understand about the 532.8 and 162.28. Important note with the help of this calculation, you will only get the idea. You won't get the correct value because the density of different rods is different. And the weight of any object depends on its density. So, use a balance for the right value. I hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Then, the weight of 2 meter rod is equal to d square divided by 162.28 into 2. On the other hand, since 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet, then 162.28 into 3.28 is equal to 532.28. I hope you understand about the 532.28 and 162.28. Important note. With the help of this calculation, you will only get the idea. You won't get the correct value because the density of different rods is different. And the weight of any object depends on its density. So, 
use a balance for the right value. I hope you understand.